Now here are a pair of Heath Kit VTVMs. This one here I bought about a year ago and restored. And this one was just uh, donated to uh, me by my father-in-law. Thanks, Al. I'm going to go ahead and try to restore this one and uh, make a little video of it. Let's we'll see what's involved. These things are actually pretty handy. Um, maybe not super accurate, but uh, nice for watching you know, the analog meter move when you're doing certain things like testing... Uh, potentiometers. If you want to see how smooth uh, the pot is, you can rotate it and see that needle move rather than jumping around. So they do have their place even in today, even though the you know modern meters are more accurate. These things are at least fun to have and do have their, their uses. Well, I took the back off of these and it's just taking the easiest just taking the screws out and pulling the back off of it. Uh, here's the one that I worked on a year or two ago and um, replaced uh, you know this capacitor and that had a uh, old selenium rectifier which I replaced with a silicon diode. I also did a little circuit here, battery eliminator circuit you know using some uh, um, components uh, couple of diodes and stuff like that to generate the one and a half volt signal for the uh, ohms test. Mostly I did that because this, you know, there was a battery that was leaking in there and everything was all deteriorated so um, and I didn't have parts to replace this little spring and uh, so I just made that. Now this one actually has the spring and luckily there was no battery in it so, um, but everything else looks original, except these little tubes here. Yeah, I'm used to tubes being made out of glass and looking like that. Uh, these are little, I guess they're metal tubes or something. I'll have to pull them out and test them and see if they're any good. But uh, they seem to be. I powered up the unit and it seems to work. Uh, I think I'll just put a battery in it and... Um, check it out for accuracy, see if it works. Well, the mystery is solved on those, uh, what I was calling metal tubes inside of that new VTVM. I can kind of demonstrate it. By the way, these are Heath Kit uh, models 7 uh, dash, well, V7A uh, VTVMs, which were made. From 1956 through about 1962, as I remember. So if you notice this one here, the original one that um, has the vacuum tubes in it, when you turn them on, you know, I think this is pretty typical of all VTVMs. It takes a little while for the vacuum tubes to warm up, and the needle always does this little sweep here, which you'll see it do in a minute. There it goes. It goes all the way full scale. As the tubes are warming, then it backs up, uh, you know, to zero when um, you're ready to start taking measurements. And it takes, you know, a minute or two to really be become accurate. Um, I guess they suggested uh, back in the day that you just turn these on in the beginning of the day and just left it on all day uh, to make sure it was accurate and warmed up and ready to go. Now this one I noticed when I turned it on, I uh, just goes straight to zero. It doesn't do that sweep thing. And uh, when you put on ohms, you know, it goes right over to uh, where it should be. So uh, that was the clue that I had as to what those little tubes were. Turns out they are something called a uh, Fetron. This was a device made by uh, Teledyne Semiconductor back in the 70s. And uh, you know, here's the numbers on them. So I had to Google them and pulled this up. So apparently that was something that uh, was made as a uh, solid-state replacement for vacuum tubes in the 70s. Um, back when, uh, rather than redesigning, you know, the circuits, they just popped these things in. I think they actually came on some guitar amplifiers too, uh, back in the day. 
Uh, and I believe that Heathkit sold uh, those as a replacement um, that you could pop in these things and make it an instant on uh, FET based uh, meter instead of a vacuum tube meter. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those in and uh, try calibrating this guy and see how it compares to the old uh, vacuum tube model um, next to it. I just went through and uh, <coughs> recalibrated the uh, my original uh, Heathkit VTVM and the new one uh, that I just received that has the um, Vectron tubes in it. And uh, I gotta say that the new one seems to be a little bit more stable and accurate than uh, my original one. Maybe this still has uh, some kind of a problem in there that I haven't diagnosed yet. But um, I kind of like this new one. I like that instant on. Uh, it's ready to go as soon as you uh, flip the switch rather than having to wait for the uh, vacuum tubes to warm up and stabilize. So I'll probably use this one more than uh, the other one, but uh, I'll keep them both. So that'll wrap up the video on uh, this guy, and I don't think I'm really going to do any restoration on it. Um, it's working great, it's accurate, uh, I think I'll just leave everything as it is and um, use it until it uh, no longer works. So thanks again Al for the donation, and uh, I'll be using your uh, BTVM for a while here. <laughs>